watch this video it's Diane Hall author medium angel intuitive and channel and um, this is the reading for the week beginning the 25th of April 2016 and before I actually start the reading I just want to make a quick announcement and the announcement is that I'm going to be giving away in May three completely free mentoring sessions. So um, if you would like to get one of those sessions or if you'd like to be considered for one of those sessions, um, these are the things uh, that you need to do. So I'm going to be doing in these sessions something that will show you a little bit of what I would offer in um, a course of mentoring. And Usually I would start off by showing you how to get really, really grounded, how to connect with source energy, how to open up and prepare to work, how to protect, put protection around yourself and call in your guides. Um, but we'll see what happens. It might be a Q&A session where you can ask me some of your most pressing questions about psychic and intuitive development or you know, anything to do with connecting with your guides and angels or energetic shielding or energy clearing or um, getting grounded or anything at all, anything outside of, of those areas that I've discussed or any one of those areas that I've discussed, you know, anything that you know is related to those areas that you're interested in. If you want to know exactly what I do so that you can choose, you know, um, something um, to work on or rather to answer the question, forget what I just said. You need to know what I do so that you can answer the question <laughs> that you're going to answer in order to be considered to win the session. So basically, go to my website, click on the readings tab and scroll down to mentoring and at some point, psychic development, tuition men or mentoring, it's something like that. At some point you'll come across a list of things that I usually include um, in a six week block of mentoring. So if you're not sure what to choose to answer this question, which is coming up in a minute look at the list and see what you're drawn to and um, so what you need to do to be considered is first of all make sure that you're subscribed to my youtube channel and secondly and then post a quick comment just say hi introduce yourself and then secondly go to my website and um, subscribe to my messages as well so you need to go I'll post all the links below the video don't worry after that um, yes once you go to my website and subscribe to my messages you will be able to receive um, occasional uh, messages uh, from the little book of daily guidance in written form and I'll tell you when I post a video as well or you know I'll let you know um, other bits and pieces that might be useful or interesting and I might inform you that way as to whether you've um, uh, won a session. So those are the first two things subscribe to the YouTube channel then subscribe to my messages and um, this is the question. The third thing you need to do is to go to the contacts page and send me a message. And in that message, I want you to say, if you were to book a six week course of mentoring with me, what is the main thing that you would like to work on? What is your greatest challenge or what is the thing that you're most curious about or find most interesting or intriguing? It doesn't have to be, you know, it's not an exam question. Just give me an example or an idea of the things that you're interested in. And just send that to me using the contacts, the form on the contacts page. And at some point I will contact you if you've been selected. So I'm basically going to just look at all the answers and just see what my heart feels drawn to, what my guides point out to me, what lights up, you know, whose name lights up, whose question lights up and just do it that way. And I'm saying that I'm going to do three in the month of May, but I might do more because that's how I roll. So it could be five. I don't know. We'll see. So go ahead and, you know, it's not one of those competitions that's sort of really ho hopeless or unlikely or, you know, one person in a million. I am going to actually do at least three in May and um, I might do more. Okay, so that's that. And the message for this week, the week beginning the 25th of May, I hope I've covered everything. If I haven't, if there's something I've missed out, just put a little message under the video and I'll explain it because I want to move on now. So, okay. 
and thank you for all your lovely interactions. I've just been reminded to say that as well. I did a lovely meditation before I started, so um, I'm going to be very guided. And I've already been guided to the message number 61 in the little book of daily guidance. So the message for this week is proceed to the finishing line. And it says, giving up just before you reach your goal is always a temptation, but sometimes it's important to finish what you have started. Sometimes things feel hardest just before you succeed. These times are like the tough minutes at the end of a marathon. Imagine how great you'll feel when you, finish, when you reach the finishing line. Take time today to strengthen your core, your faith and your resolve and recommit to the plans which are dearest to your heart. Keep on, you are closer than you think. So, the word that I received, I received a word with this as well, was consolidation. Because I was asking, well, 61, proceed to the, the finishing line. It seems like an unlikely message, considering we've got a lot of planets going retrograde at the moment. Um, we know that we're in a little bit of a slowdown. We've got Mercury going retrograde sort of towards the end of the week. But what I'm feeling very strongly coming through at the moment, and the way that my guides were explaining it, was to say that sometimes when the planetary energies begin to slow down a little bit, we tend to think that that means don't do anything. We sometimes misunderstand. And they just want to really get across the idea that all the plans we've been making recently have been very aligned. We've, it's taken us a long time to get to a place of clarity. We've done a lot of sifting through, a lot of clearing, and there have been some incredible energies coming onto the planet that have helped us to raise our vibration, to raise our thinking, to raise our awareness and our perceptions of who we can be, and to remind us of what we came here to do and be. And so, even though things are beginning to slow down a little bit, we need to keep that clarity consolidate what we have and if anything what these energies mean planetary energies mean is don't start you know don't don't take on a whole new different course don't think ah oh, i'm going to just sort of jump ship and and start something else what proceed to the finishing line means in that context is keep on with the path that you've started you're on the right path now most of us have really taken our time since the beginning of the year there's been a process of sifting and refining and there's been changes of direction and changes of perception and perspective and we've finally gotten to a place now where it feels like okay yeah this make sense. I can see the whole big picture. I can see how I can use all of my gifts together. I can see where this is going. I can see how I can stay aligned, how I can be of service, how I can really fulfill my path and my destiny and myself. And now we're being told to slow down. So what they're saying is it's not the time to down tools and have a tea break. It's the time more to step back and look at the paintwork and think, hmm, did I miss a little bit there? Did I miss a little bit there? How can I reevaluate or reassess the creativity, the way that I've approached this, this, um, this decoration, if you like? Because the vision is very clear. It's the details now that we're really looking at refining. So it's just another opportunity now to be really, really clear about the direction, about the approach, about the details, and to step forward with consciousness, with thoughtfulness, with awareness, with contemplation, and to re-establish the connection that got us here in the first place. So we got here, a lot of us, by being so uh, tested and confused that we had to go very deep within ourselves and make a really deep, powerful connection with Source. And this is a good time to reconnect with that and to allow those wiser principles, energies, angels, guardians to continue to guide us along the right path and to keep moving in our thoughts, in our planning, in our intention and in our energy and awareness towards what we've started and to not falter in that. 
okay I hope that makes sense I'm going to choose a card from the um, magical unicorns deck by Doreen Virtue which I absolutely love and I'm just really feeling a resonance with these messages at the moment because I've been having some really lovely um, unicorn experiences in my meditations so I really feel that their energy their purity that pure source light is really coming through strongly at the moment to guide us and to remind us to continue to focus our intention on light and to stay aligned with that um, that source guided intention so I'm asking what is it that we need to remember this week in proceeding how do we need to proceed what can um, enrich our journey even more even though we are you know just slowing down and consolidating a little bit definitely yes <laughs> that's perfect okay so the answer to your question is a strong yes so if you are one of these people who's feeling a little bit because you know a lot of us are very sensitive to these changes we feel when things slow down we feel the full moons and the new moons and you know we're very much affected i mean all humanity all human beings are affected by these changes but some are more affected than others or rather more consciously aware of their effects than others and so if you're feeling that slowdown or if you know about astrology and you're aware of what's happening and that's affecting your consciousness, it's just a reminder that even if you feel a shift, the answer is still yes to what you planned before the slowdown. The answer is still yes, you are on the right path, keep going. And that's what needs to enrich your journey and your time of reassessing and reevaluating and consolidation is to just have that inner knowing and that inner awareness. Right, they're saying move on to uh, the, the um, colour cards now. So where in our energy field, what colours do we need to bring in? What colours will support this awareness? Oh, that one just fell. I'm going to have a look at that. Okay, so I've got uh, tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. Okay, and also I'm just being reminded that this orange, this tangerine colour is a very powerful manifesting colour. It's the colour of the sacral chakra, so it's very powerful for creativity, for manifestation. We're still uh, in that um, sort of, a bit of that influence of um, Sun in Taurus, um, moving into it now much more. And, um, and so it's really, really important for us to stay in that place of believing that we are co-creators and also being able to just relax into a different kind of flow so maybe give some time give some room to having a little bit of fun if we've been very focused and very single-minded about where we're going with our career what we're doing with our work and and just being really career um, and goal oriented maybe what we need to do in this period is to just let go of some of that go out have a little bit of a laugh or you know watch some comedy if you don't feel like going out or have some friends round or um, you know just just have a fun outing have a fun kind of um, day out or you know or an evening out or something that takes you out of this feeling of always trying to be aware and, and look at what's happening and what's your next step and what are your next moves just chill out chill out at least for a day this week and uh, and see what comes in see what other inspirations come from the freedom that you find when you let go a little bit and i'm going to pick one more card see what else is on the top whoops okay attract success we had that last week and um i think the message with that is that it's really about attracting now not so much about pushing and pushing and pushing it's about maintaining the vision keeping it at the forefront of our minds and even if we do take a little bit of time to reassess and reevaluate we're still doing something that's useful we're using our manifesting power we're using our spontaneity and our sense of fun to get us back in the flow and once we're back in the flow we're much more able to attract what it is that we're hoping to achieve and the time for action will come back quite quickly um, we've got um, Jupiter going direct at the beginning of May which is going to make a little bit of a difference um, so this is really a time 
to just be aware of all of those factors, all of those energies, all of those colours and to stay on track. Okay, that's it for this week, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to book a private message uh, reading with me, I know that these messages um, don't always apply to everyone. They're general messages for the universal, for the collective energy. Um, so we do our best. And um, But if it doesn't resonate with you, or if you would like something, if it does, and you'd like something that's even more specific to your situation, then please also click on the link below and, um, and book a reading. And if you would like one of those free mentoring sessions, then I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll speak to you next week. Take care.